Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be continuing on our VGC Series 8 content featuring another Zashian team, but this one's a little bit different from ones we've featured in the past, kind of taking advantage of the rain mod within this team that we're seeing picking up a little bit of usage recently, especially with the Polytoad Kingdra. Gives a lot of protection against Zashian, helps disrupt the weather and gives you some nice offensive options outside of just that restricted pokemon obviously the support and cast around here you've got the thunderous incarnate not your standard kind of defined build but the prankster one taking advantage of things like leer which really helps out with the zashian eerie impulse to reduce damage uh, output from opposing threat and then taunt to kind of prevent trick room going up or just you know status conditions that are going to be a little bit iffy and a bit awkward to play around got a standard kind of support role landerous theory and helps out a bunch against sun teams in general especially with the intimidate support uh, your standard move set there earthquake fly rock slide superpower option over something like u-turn which helps you kind of boost attack power if you need it which is a nice option there in general and then the bronzong which is another pokemon kind of falls under that category of getting a lot of protection from the rain mode especially when you can get those iron defenses up with bronzong it's there to reverse the trick room or set it up if you want to and also got ally switch to just be an absolute pain to deal with for your opponent so um big shout out to to their handle is there a japanese player who's put this rental code up um it's kai up underscore la papa zero two i'll link all their socials down in the description as i have been doing um hopefully you enjoyed today's episode i hope you tried the rental out as well and uh, we'll have a couple of games now with the team see how it functions and then we'll throw the rental up to end at the end of this episode so without further ado friends hope you enjoyed today's episode and let's find our first opponent of today okay so first up today we got axel playing a team of tornadoes kyoga venusaur Torkoal, porygon 2 and urshifu interesting team double weather uh, with the Tornadus, the Kyogre, and then you've got that other mode with the Venusaur and the Torkoal. Very kind of two different modes, two very difficult modes to approach, for sure. Uh, the Porygon 2, they're going to be the Trick Room set of the team, and then Urshifu kind of rounds out with a bit of, um, obviously, dark uh, support to help against the Poison Trick Room and things like that, I would imagine. Makes it difficult to utilize Bronzong here, for sure. I think... Thunderous for us is a really good pick. I'm just going to check the speed stat of Thunderous because if we're max speed, then yeah, we're not. Max special defense, which definitely helps us out a bunch, especially against things like Kyogre and Venusaur that are predominantly things that really want to take advantage of their special attack. Um, I'm tempted to go Kingdra and then Politoed and Zashin in the back, you know. Do we... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'd like to bring the Bronzong because I think the Bronzongs are really interesting Pokemon here. But in the 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 wrong position against something like, you know, uh, Urshifu or Torkoal, we could be in a bad spot. And I think the, the other Pokemon probably provide a little bit more stability in general. So, not going to be the easiest match to go up against. Double weather is never easy because it's always hard to kind of dictate uh, the field condition that you prefer. Because your opponent's obviously got more options than you. But sometimes that can kind of fall into your favor, you know. Um, as we see the Venusaur. And the Tornado's come up for my opponent. So we're definitely going to see 100%. 100% we're going to see Tailwind come up for my opponent here. We can taunt the opposing Venusaur and go for an Airstream. Um, and that kind of covers for the fact that they could potentially go for um, a Sleep Powder here. Which would be which would be really, really bad for us, uh, and I don't think we lose too much by doing that. If I'm completely honest, because like my opponent's kind of in that awkward position where if they bring the Kyogre and then Kingdra gets the Swift Swim boost, um, and we're not really going, we're not going to get knocked out this turn. Like nothing getting knocked out this turn. At least I don't feel like we are. Um, but the Venusaur probably maxes as well. Yeah. That's the other thing, you know. The Taunt isn't a bad play in general because it stops them max guarding, which is always useful. Um, so potentially, the next turn, we can go... Mm, well, we haven't got a speed control on our Thunderous, which doesn't help us a bunch. But we can go Eerie Impulse if we need to. Um, 
taunt coming out there. I mean, do we just... Is that... Okay, icy wind. Huh. All right. Well, that's another option. Maybe scared of the taunt as well from the thunderous, you know. Um, do you see life orb and max ooze, oozy. But this thunderous is an absolute tank. Going to be able to take that pretty comfortably there. So, proc in the citrus berry as well, which is nice. And what we can do the next turn is maybe eerie impulse. Okay, so that cobra berry. Hmm. There's another. Yeah, uh, it's tricky. It's tricky because icy wind kind of just overrides our airstream, which is not ideal. Hmm. And thunder's risky. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna go for, they're gonna go for, hmm. What have we got in the back to deal with the Tornadus? Not a great amount. I mean, Zashin doesn't do too bad against it. It's not ideal. Let's go Eerie Impulse into the Venusaur. And let's go, do we go Geyser here? Ah, no. I mean, we could geyser into Tornadus and then deal with the Venus on the next turn. Might not be a bad play, it's just we're not kind of capitalizing on our... We're not capitalizing on any sort of speed control that we've got. And we're kind of getting punished from my opponent because of it. So there's it. There's the Icy Wind. We'll probably lose Thunderous here, which is not ideal. And we're minus one speed. But if we can get rid of the, the Tornadus here, that's amazing. Because I think... Okay, so Thunder is going to kick around for another turn, which is useful. If we can get rid of... Uh, the residual damage probably gets Thunder. If we can get rid of the Tornadus here, which I'm hoping we can, we remove their Tailwind. Which is so useful for us. The residual damage isn't ideal, but it's something we're going to have to contend with regardless. You know, the Cobra Berry on the, on the Venusaur, always one of those attacks that... Uh, always one of those items that's going to make it difficult to deal with uh, going down this, this route. Thunderous just about hanging on. So we do get another turn out of Thunderous, which is useful. And if they got Torkoal in the back, it almost forces them to, to bring it now. That's Urshifu. Urshi. Right, well. Hmm. Decisions. You know the Venusaur can't protect here. It's kind of weak as well. Uh, does the Urshifu go for... Because we could potentially just thunder into the the Urshifu. It's just that we take a, a sucker punch. I don't know if we do, you know. I don't know if we do. Okay, let's go thunder. Let's go airstream into Venu. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I don't really feel like we've got many other options at this point. Sucker punch. Hopefully we can take it. We can. There we go. Beautiful. Airstream coming out. We'll get the Venusaur. Oh, down to a good point. Zashin can kind of pick that up. And the Thunder. Should do a good chunk to the Urshifu, to be honest. Should do. Now, we will lose both Pokemon here. This is the problem. Like, we need this to do a massive chunk. Oh, it's not quite enough. Not quite. Maxu's coming out. So just resetting that eerie impulse that we got onto the Venusaur earlier. Uh, and the residual damage going to be able to chip at Kingdra this turn. Okay. Well, Zashin's a good Pokemon to bring onto the field. Especially with Politoed. Because we can just go after the Venusaur with Zashin. We can go Politoed Scald into the Urshifu. That covers a, a Torkoal switch. The problem would be then if the Torkoal comes in and we get Earth Powered. Or Sleep Powdered. So we're, if the Torkoal's in the back, but it might not be, it's more likely the Kyogre, if anything, because then my opponent, if they haven't got the Kyogre, then they don't, they haven't brought their Restricted. So you get the attack boost, which is always useful. So it means that at least Zashin gonna get the jump on Venusaur the whole time. And 
We do have Perish Song with Politoed, so if we can take like what does the Urshifu do? Does it go after does it go after um Zashin? You'd imagine probably close combat into Zashin here. But maybe not as well. Yeah. So it leaves Politoed free. The Kyogre is never going to be able to take Politoed down, even with the Thunder. Unless it's Specs, which I doubt it is. But the Perish Song should win us win the game. So, yeah. In a decent enough spot. Be interesting to see how much the play rough does to a Kyogre plus one, you know? Because Behemoth Blade resists. Uh, close combat's probably a better option. But then you don't get the drops. But with so low health at the minute, close combat's way more reliable. Um, how many turns have... We got one. So what we could do... No, 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 no. We need to reduce the power of... We could help in hand as well, you know. But I think it's worth just getting our Parish up right now. Because I'm like I'm confident that the Todd. Okay, that's that's perfect. I mean, my opponents just give us the game now. Because we attack with both the next turn, and then we got the protect after that, and then the Parish has pretty much run out. Or we can just help in hand close combat this next turn. That's the residual damage gone. And if they've only got Origin Pulse, I don't see them having enough to deal with the Todd. It's whether or not they got Thunder or not, you know? Thunder changes things at this point because of the residual damage. But helping Iron Close Combat plus a Close Combat is going to be enough to get the Kyogre in whatever frame we look at it. See how much this does. Oh, we don't even need to worry about the, the Perish Song. Don't even need to worry. Okay, well, good game to my opponent. Good game, Axel. Um, nice team. I like the variation there with the dual weather. It's really nice. It's a good concept, but we uh, we managed to uh, not even need the perish there, which is awesome. So very good. Zashin just doing its thing. Um, very good game, and we'll move on to our next opponent of the episode. Okay, next up we have a oh, what is this? Arcanine, Mimikyu, Lipod, Solgaleo, Shuckle, and Chansey. Excellent. Well. we'll it's all right. It's all right. You know, we got Perish Song, so we just need to get rid of everything else. Have the Chansey as the last Pokemon, Perish, and then we win. Okay? It's all right. It's going to be all right. This is where Perish Song is, like, vital. So we need to make sure that Politod doesn't get destroyed. Um, phew, Trick Room is going to be a thing. Lipod doing copycat stuff. We can't taunt it because it's dark. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this already. <laughs> hate this already. I literally do. Um, right. Well, let's see. Let's go Kingdra Politoed because they're two Pokemon that we're going to need. Let's go Zashin. And what's our last one? Bronzong? Yeah, let's go Bronzong. Yeah, Bronzong feels good in this match. Uh, it's good to bring in against stuff like Solgaleo that's going to struggle to hit it and yeah, other things. So, <sighs> Ikogo. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't approve. I don't approve of Shuckle Chansey. Not on the ladder. Look at us here. Just trying to have a nice day. Minding our own business. Doing some testing with nice teams. that have been provided, provided for us. And then this Shuckle Chansey pops up on the ladder. Giving us all sorts of issues. Right, well. Ah, it's tough now. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, what do we do? Do we just go um, big... Big old, big old muddy water geyser into Sogaleo. Get some damage onto it there. I mean, do we even max? Yeah, we max. We max. There's not really anything else we want to max. Let's bring in Bronzong. The other option is just muddy water at this point. Get damage onto both both the Sogaleo and break that disguise on the, the Mimi. But I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to see a Shadow Sneak into the Sogaleo? Get that weakness policy procced, or are we going to see a trick room? Maybe a trick room. Maybe, but that helps Bronzong out, so it makes sense just bringing it in here just to kind of cover that, if that is what my opponent goes for. So, we are going to max. Max. Let's see what they go for. I don't think they take us down without the weakness policy boost. 
So I think we're, we're all right in that respect if we don't see the Shadow Sneak. Um, but we're not in a great position either way. If the Trick Room goes up, you know, we're in, like, Kingdra's in a, a, a really horrible spot. But this damage is always going to be useful, you know. Not Shadow Sneak, so indicating more that we'll probably see a Trick Room. Man, so Galeo. Sogaleo is just an absolute monster. It just takes attacks like you know that is it's ridiculous how well it takes that. Ridiculous. Max Lightning coming out. Trick room. There we go. Well, we can body. We can iron defense now. It helps us out a bunch against the, the, the Mimi. As well, you know, could have. Uh, it probably has got Shadow Sneak. And uh, did we just go? Do we just go after the Sogaleo again? Do we go after the Mimi? Because the thing is with the Mimic, you've got no way to hit it, really, with, with Bronzong. We've got Ally Switch, but do we want to do that now? I mean, we could. We could Ally Switch. It's kind of a nice m option. Um, and then and then Iron Defense the next turn. Am I going to be that person? I am going to be that person. I am going to be the Ally Switch. Maestro. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't even feel bad for clicking this button. Not against this team. Beat up. Here we go. Get that weakness policy procced. What are we going to see? You're going to go after the Bronzong here or the Kingdra. Bosh. Four hits. This might, this might go against us here, you know. They take down the Bronzong. Ooh, it's not going to be so good. Max Flare. Ooh, tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Well, that definitely helps us out a bit, that ally switch. that uh, It makes our guys are not so effective. But, I mean, at least we've got the rain up to kind of help protect Bronzong the next turn a little bit better. And then we can geyser again the next turn. The problem is now the Mimikyu's got a bit more of, a bit more freedom going into this next turn where, you know, it can go for the beat up if it wants to again. Um, but my opponent's got to be thinking about the ally switch, definitely, this next turn. So we're not going to go for that. We're going to go for an iron defense and we are going to go for a... I think we go for a geyser this time into the Mimikyu. If we can get a geyser off this time, that'd be ideal. We just want to break that disguise, make it a little bit easier to deal with, a bit easier to manage. <clears throat> so Galeo, plus two, nasty, nasty, nasty. But we're going plus two as well, so we'll see what they do. Hopefully they fall for the old ally switch mind games here. Um, Will-O-Wisp. Oh, that is just rude, Mimikyu. Rude. Max Lightning. Uh, into Kingdra here. We might take. Yeah, we take it. So that's good. Um, yeah, Kingdra's just a beast, you know, when it maxes. And getting the guys out. I know it's a waste of a max move, but at the same time, it's kind of not as well because um, being able to, to get rid of the, um, the disguise is so useful for us. So I don't know how many turns of Trick Room we've got left. Maybe two, right? But Bronzong's sitting in a pretty good spot where we can get another Iron Defense at this next turn. Um... And we're not in any real danger. And you know, like, Flare Blitz is going to be dangerous, for sure. For sure. But, without the worry of Shadow Sneak, we're kind of all... Uh, how many turns we got? Two. Maybe Kingdra's worth keeping. We've got Zashian. I mean, we don't want to bring Zashian in just yet. I think Zashian's a good Pokemon to bring in. Um, but later, maybe we protect. Just all the Tailwind turns out if we can't. Trick room turns if we can. Um, Bronzong shouldn't be too re like shouldn't be too threatened with double iron defense up. In all honesty, then the next turn we could go for a body press into the Solgaleo. Um, going for that beat up. Gonna how much damage? It's thirty four. It goes down to thirty four damage each time. So doing a, a accumulation of sixteen HP, which we can live with, can't we? We can live with that. What's this Sogaleo going to do? Flare Blitz, doubling up. Oh, it's gone into the Kingdra. Pred <laughs> predicting the ally switch. Oh, how wrong have you been? And we just recover all of that uh, beat up damage off, which is which is just so nice. Um, 
Okay, now we go body press. I think we get the Sogaleo, you know. I'm pretty, pretty confident we would get it. And let's go into Zashin. Let's keep our rain mode for later. Because I don't think... Even a Fleb... Mm, it's plus two in the rain. We should take it, but it's not going to be ideal. Like, I'm kind of betting on the fact that the plus four body press is going to get that Sogaleo. Oh my god, it does no one near as much damage as what you ex expect it to do. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Fleblitz, how much are you going to do? You're not falling for these ally switch. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. That's not ideal. But it goes down to the recoil damage, so it's kind of worth it in the end. Now we're going to see the trick room end. <clears throat> I didn't think body press would do so little. Man. Sogaleo is just a monster. It's just a monster. It's just the big, the big, big cat. It's not the king of the cats because we know that Incineroar is king of the cats. But it is an absolute beast. Um, Mimikyu can drop this next turn to the Zashin, the Behemoth Blade. Um, oh, okay, Shuckle. Well, do we just body press it? I think we just body press it. I think we just body press it and Behemoth Blade into the Mimikyu. Get rid of it. See you later, Mimi. Oh, they're bringing in Chansey. Oh, this is this is risky. There's no trick room here. There is no trick room. This is going to really, really... This is going to... Yeah, I don't know if my opponent can kind of come back from this point, to be honest. Because, yeah, you guard split, but we've got close combat the next turn. We should have just doubled into the Chansey, to be honest. There's nothing. Um, guard split. Yep. Now that Shuck will go down the next turn. But, are you going to be able to take a double up from Bronzong and the Zashin? Like, we're plus one. Plus one close combat is going to do enough, right? Yeah, it's got to. It's got to. Unless you protect here, which you potentially could. No, no, protect. No, no, protect. Okay, that's... <gasps> it survives! It survives! It's like one, hit, one HP! Are you kidding? It's like one or two HP. That is just absolutely nuts. Soft boiling that off. Okay. Uh, I hate Chansey so much. How do you survive that? Well, you're not going to take another one, so it's fine. With the body press on top, there's no way you take another close combat. So you're going down this next turn. I don't really care about the, the Mimikyu at the minute. Like, Politoed can beat you, so we're fine. We just need to get rid of you, Chansey. Um, let's Iron Defense up again. Oh, we can't. We're taunted. We can't really do anything with Bronzong right now. I mean, we can just double up. It's not going to do anything. I mean, the other thing is we get rid of the, the Mimikyu and allow the Chansey kind of free reign, but I don't want to allow the Chansey to kind of get it free. The Protect here would be terrible, but we're not going to see it. Close combat going to be enough. Yeah, no hanging on this time, Chansey. Not against Zashin. Try try that another day against when try that back in series seven on series nine. Not now. Will it a little too late? It's fine. Because I think we probably will probably get the, the Mimikyu with the Behemoth Blade anywhere the next turn. And then we still got Polytod Kingdra in the back to kind of come in and and do some work. At the end of the game, so it's looking all right at the moment. It's looking all right. The taunt wears off and the shuckle is going to come back onto the field with all its defenses intact. It took that iron defense pretty well, you know, didn't it? This has been like a good showing from Bronzong. I'm very proud of you, Bronzong, for what you're doing. We've got an iron defense. We'll get rid of this Mimikyu right now. And then we can have Politoed uh, Bronzong kind of finish this one up and my opponent cancels that's what we do to chancy teams that's what we do friends that's what we do don't like it. anyway good game to my opponent no bad feelings or anything i'm only messing around um yeah 
So very good game to my opponent. I had two really good games today with the team. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. We'll hop over now and just get you with that reminder of today's rental code. All right, friends, here is today's rental team. A big shout out to No Face. I think that's what they go by, a uh, Japanese player, but their handle's obviously a lot different. Like I say, their socials are all down in the description below as well. There's a blog post detailing the team. But yeah, big shout out to them for this team. It's been a lot of fun. We got to see most of the team kind of function really well. Uh, the bronze on in that last one, dude a good job and just preserving that poly to just in case the chance he did manage to kind of get a handle on that match but fortunately Zashin just ridiculously powerful like we know it is but always nice to feature that on the channel if you try this team out I hope you have a lot of fun with it and definitely let me know as always do love to hear when you try the teams that we feature out on the channel and how you've got on with them so I'm going to wrap it up there not going to drag this one on too much longer have a great rest of your day and we'll be back again with more Series 8 content very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye Bye.